Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blumada Banana and this is Mount and Blade Warbands. In the last episode we defeated about 100, or was it exactly 100 sea raiders uh, here somewhere along the shore. And it was a bloody battle, I think we lost about 10 to 15 guys, I'm not quite sure. How many did we lose? I think we were 50 guys or 40, somewhere around there. Well, actually... Um, 49 and Mathel, uh, because yeah, that's a she. Oh, we have two camp followers as well. That's good. That's good. So that's actually pretty pretty excellent. Our, our troops are pretty much well beaten up a bit. I just have three veterans of five. Our footmen's well in the infirmary as well. We lost. No, well we have only three of four, six of nine. That's not. That's not well. What I like to see. Let's check river check <laughs> for a second. I'm not sure where I left off, and uh, that's why I need to just see if we have enough goods in our inventory and you know just stuff lying around to see if everybody's stacked out. I think food wise, yeah, it looks looks okay. Could be better, but I think it's all right. Yeah, that's great. And there's one thing that I wanted to see as well, if there's anyone to hire. That's just a farmer, mercenary cavalry, traveler. Nope, doesn't look like it. Also, I read all the comments and I think I was right. I think I said that you need to deliver blunt force weapon damage to knock somebody out and uh, that you can actually get prisoners. So let's see if there is any blunt weapon to buy. Nope, doesn't look like it. Everything's sharp. Yes, every everything. Damn it. Anyways, any cheap plate armor to buy? 19k? God darn it. Uh, we could buy this, but then we're broke. Hmm, that's not worth it. I like the, the winged great helmet, but it, it's actually pretty impractical, to be honest. You never like... I, I don't think that people had helmets with, you know, some extensions to the sides, like horns or, you know, like these wings or something like that, but it, that would pretty much imbalance the whole thing. That That's a good. Same thing goes for capes, usually. you, I, I don't think that anyone would have fought with a cape on. I mean, I'm I'm not an expert on this, right? And I've I've n just what I read and saw on the internet. Uh, I I just think it wouldn't be the smartest idea to do that. You could easily just, you know, uh, just trip over your your cape, or the enemy could kind of take advantage of it. Just step on it, and you'll you'll be well screwed. Okay, we're at the tavern. Let's check the marketplace. Let's try to get something. I. Yeah, that's not what I want. We really need. Really, really. Sh ah, misclick, sorry. Really need to get some cash here and there. I might want to save up. Oh, that's expensive. I might want to save up and. buy a small business. You can do that, that's pretty cool actually, and you should basically do that. Because the businesses, they, they just generate profit if there is not too much, well, fighting and war and stuff going on. Okay, no, I don't think we can catch them. I think there were six Tundra Bandits over there. That ah, doesn't look like good food either. And yeah, now it's ten Tundra Bandits, we're never gonna catch them. Let's go to Kuro. And let's see what they have. This will be a pretty, well, long episode of just walking around trying to... Wait a second, Behesher. Damn it, I forgot again. If this is a guy that we need. Sorry, gotta look that up. Should have been a bit more prepared. Nope, he's not. Great. Sorry, once again, pretty unprofessional. I know. I can't 
I can't remember for the life of me which ones are the ones that you want and well Ooh, iron for I think that's cheat. Let's take that. I can't as I said, I can't remember for the life of me who I need to well recruit and yeah. Who I don't need to recruit for this party as set up. The thing is, once you've well, look at that, Durham is not, not, no longer under siege. But once you've uh, conquered your very own holding, or you be, you've been granted your very own holding, which could happen as well if you swear, uh, swear fealty to a lord. Um, let's go to Sarkov, though. Then, well, you can grant landed titles to your, to your group, uh, mainly Methel's Less elite or or let's I have no idea and Rolf, uh, those guys are nobles, so you can grant land to them, which is kind of good because they manage that land for you, which you need. Well, you don't need to worry about it so much. And yeah, then you usually want to get rid of the of the rest of them and recruit some another party. So you you know just a party of non, uh, what's it called? Non nobles. I don't know. Just peasants, basically. I think that's how you you should do it in this. Uh, that's how you should play the game. Light throwing axes, nah. Not really a huge fan of that. I like two hundred sabers. They look cool, but it's not a good weapon in this game. I think we could go for the heavy iron mace, but I don't know. Its re reach is just uh, seventy three, so. It's a bit short, and I, I'm not. Well, let's just say I'm not on top of my game. The moment. Let's see if there is any good armor to buy. I like I like the style of that. You can always just, uh, well, equip it and see if it looks cool or not. Would we'll get us uh, ten more body armor. You can see that down there. But nope, I don't think it's worth it. Could go for the for the rusty great helmet though, It'd be ten more head armor, and I kind of like the great helmet. I don't know why, but it doesn't really fit the the uh, male shirt as well. Eh, it's not really worth it. We don't have the money. We don't really have the money. That's sad, actually. Let's see, I do think we bought this for under two hundred, so that's great. Hmm, it's a bit. It's not the, the greatest, the greatest of episodes so far. So I do, I do think I have a, a small story to tell while we are just riding around. So the other day I was thinking about funny movies or you know it's just comedy movies that I like, and I somehow got stuck on what's it called again? Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Uh, if you know that movie, it, I, I think it's hilarious. And come to think of it, I also was, you know, just thinking about what film they are, but where it's a parody, right? So I was thinking about Robin Hood, uh, The Prince of Thieves, I think it's even called, with Kevin Costner and uh, Morgan Freeman. Also, who's staring as well? I, I, oh yeah, of course. Mr. Sean Connery, who's uh, King Richard, and King Richard is actually part of the story that I wanted to tell because I I remembered there was something that I heard years ago, and I think it's a, a story worth sharing. So as you might know uh, if you have seen the movie, King Richard is kind of late to the wedding, and this story is kind of why he was late for this wedding. Um, so in the Third Crusade, basically, I just. Give me, a, give me a second here. So basically in the Third Crusade, gotta look that up to be correct, a, a an Austrian Duke actually, it was Leopold V of Horst Babenberg, was uh, sieging down Akon. It's a city, I think it's somewhat north of Jerusalem, right? So he was sieging down there. He had to, he, the Austrian Duke was the commander of a small German regiment, 
And yeah, they were sieging happily and everything was going their way. Then the French king, Philippe II, and uh, King, well, Richard of England, King Lionheart, basically, came to aid and reinforced them, and they kind of stormed the castle. They just took the castle, unsalted it, and took it out. So King Richard, being, well, a king, just uh, put his house banner up on the highest tower of the castle, just showing his, well, dominance over it. Also, the, the French king put his, uh, well, that's the highest tower there, put his banner up. And the, uh, the Austrian duke was like, hey, come on, guys, we, we siege that shit down for you. You came just, uh, you came here, we're like, oh, yeah, well, they, they look weak now, we could attack him. That, that's not, that's not fair, I want, I'm, I did some, I, I did stuff too. And he put his banner up on the highest tower as well. Basically elevating himself or putting himself on the same level as two kings. While he was only a duke. So that's, that didn't, that didn't work out so well. Because King Richard was kind of outraged. And just threw the banner down into the mud. Which in turn wasn't really what the Austrian duke was all about. He, he thought, man, come on, really? Screw this, guys. I'm going home. But he's, he also said, well, that's just what I imagine he said. Uh, if I'm gonna catch you, Richard, if I'm gonna catch you in my lands, I'm gonna throw you into the dungeon. Mark my words. And that's basically what happened. Just some years later, King Richard came home from the crusade, and I don't actually know why. He didn't just take the boat all the way home, but they docked in Venice, then moved north to Vienna, and I don't know, maybe they wanted to move up the Danube and then just go up through Germany to the north coast or something and then take well, through Fr the French territory basically and I just take a, a boat across the channel. I, I don't know why they did that, but basically that's what, what happened. So he was detected, so King Richard was detected or was recognized and was thrown into the dungeon. So a lowly Austrian duke just basically imprisoned King Richard Lionheart. Pretty hilarious, right? And he was like, okay guys, I'm gonna ransom this guy back to you. And he got a crap ton of money. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Yeah, basically, that's, that's alright. I think we're gonna fight him. But before I start, I'm gonna finish the story. So, he basically sold... Uh, sold... King Richard back to, to England and he got uh, 6,000 buckets of silver. That's 23.3 tons of silver. Or if you want to take a cube of silver, I, I just I calculated that. It wasn't really hard to do. Basically Wolfram, uh, Wolfram Alpha did that for me. Um, it's a cube with 1.3 one me one meters of length. So you have a cube with 1.3 meters height and width and, well, depth of silver, or just for the users of the uh, imperial system, it's 4.3 fe uh, feet, something like that. So that's a lot of silver. He actually bought, or he actually, well, founded a city with that. That's Wiener Neustadt. If, you, if you're an Austrian guy, you basically know that, or, yeah, well, now you know that too. I think it's a pr pretty hilarious thing to do. Basically, be like, "Hey, you throw my you throw my flag into the mud. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you all." That didn't work out so well though, because he got basically excommunicated for that. Uh, King Richard, being a crusader and all, had special well protection from the church. Well, let's just let's just charge him. Ah, damn it. Thunder Bandits aren't really the most, well, threatening of enemies. They have short bows, which aren't really that strong, so... Ah, damn it, I missed that one as well. I'm not on top of... Oh, my horse is getting pretty beaten up, though. Really? They're getting killed by those fools? Oh, come on! Noobs. I tell. Oh, there's another wait, regiment. Ah, 
I'm not going to. I'm, I, I just get, can't get the swing right. Eh, finally. But my horse is pretty beaten up. I don't like that at all. Oh, where's the archer? That's a bit too far out. Trainees, go back. Lost another one. I don't. I don't like that at all. Whoops! That's not what I wanted. Oh well, we don't have cavalry, so don't care. That's not going my way because I'm I'm playing horrendously bad. Need to hit someone. Not really hit. I need to kill someone. That's better. Huskal got knocked. Oh wait! If we would have lost that. Post column, I would have been so mad. That that pike man, you need to be aware of the pikes. Uh, if you're on a a horse, well, obviously horses don't like pikes. That's just an old trick. Let's see if I can get at least one of them. Would be great. Nope. Yeah, I'm not really on top of my game today, huh? Okay, all right. Lost way too many guys to that. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Huh. Sucks. Whoa! And they're on the. Oh Christ! We're losing. We're losing people left, right, and center here. Hmm. There is no real. There's no real cover for us to use, though. I mean, we could. Oh, there is a mm, that that could that could help. Let's hold here, archers here. So if they have to go through the uh, the river here, that could that could help. Uh, let's move them back a bit. Oh no, I'm still having the archers selected. Have we any trainees? Nope, no trainees here. That's good. So we're going to wait until they move up this, well, straight crossing. <laughs> no playing too much CK2. Let's Crusader Kings. I don't know why I haven't played the game for, well, I haven't played Crusader Kings for this long, because I think I should have played it much earlier. Or, I don't know, a friend of mine kind of recommended it years ago. Ah, Christ. Might wanna, might wanna charge him though. Almost forget the, uh, forgot that. It's not good. Stop throwing shit at me. Don't like that. I said, hmm, nice block. So since that guy to the right there wanted to, basically, oh, come on. I really need to get better. I had to order them back a bit because uh, one of them wanted to charge down into the newly arrived enemies. Hey, stop that! Let's try to flank him. Maybe that will work. The beginning of the game is always a bit tedious. You know, you have to be really careful not to overextend. You only f you're only fighting bandits most of the time. Later in the game, it will be way better. Yeah, damn it. The only thing that I really hate is that most of the times you can only get the Kergit Kang in it because nobody likes them. I don't know why. It's basically, I don't know. I don't know why. It's usually the, the first holdings that you can take. Nice. Got some bandits. And we can hire a new peasant. Great. Like that. Javelins. But I do think we lost way too many t people to those stupid. Yeah. Oh, we only lost two. Interesting. Thought it were more. Yes, finally we got some man at arms. That's great. Two huntresses. Gonna put them to the trainee group. Peasant woman. There's a trainee. Perfect. Rodok. Art, uh, let's say tr veteran crossbowman. That's even better. 
put it up there, take the men at arms, put them up there. Oh, that, that looks better. Let's talk to... No, let's don't talk to Mathel yet. We're going to... I think we're going down to Cuda now. See if there is a... Reds broker, since we have five... Uh, well, prisoners. Uh, doesn't look like it, though. Going to sell crap, and then I think I'm gonna call this an episode. I, I think we got some stuff done. It wasn't really the most... Well, wasn't everything that I, I think I wanted to do. But it was alright. Oh, 40. That's a good one. Flanged mace. I don't like it. A thick Nordic shield. Someone's going to use that. Perfect. He has enough money and we're going to get 1,100 dinars. That's pretty amazing. Any horses I want to buy? Not really. Stubborn. Lame. Heavy. Hmm. If I, if I, if they had a cheap horse, I would have gotten one for Matheld and Boetje, but that doesn't look like it. Ah. Well, since I'm just shopping now, um, well, gonna call this an episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you next time. Hope you enjoyed my little history lesson, history story there. I uh, don't know how accurate that was, but anyways. Thanks for watching, hope to see you next time, and as always, auf Wiedersehen!